turning on the recirculating bath. If temperature control is needed, the operator will need to turn on the recirculating bath. Press the power button on the top left corner of the recirculating bath. The recirculating bath should already be set to 25 degrees Celsius. Turning on the power supply and temperature controller. Flip the power switch on the bottom right corner of the power supply. The green indicator light should turn on. If temperature control is needed, the operator will need to turn on the temperature controller. Flip the power switch on the bottom right corner of the temperature controller, then press the start button. The indicator light should turn on. Turning on the instrument. Flip the power switch on the right side of the instrument. The red indicator light should turn on. For the best performance, allow the instrument to warm up for at least 30 minutes, one hour is preferred. Turning on the computer. Press the power button on the top left corner of the computer tower. Next, log into the instrument computer. The username and password are found in the instrument SOP. Spectrum measurement. On the desktop, double click on the spectrum manager icon. When spectrum manager opens, double click on spectrum measurements. Wait for the software to open and initialize. If this is the first time the computer is communicating with the instrument, initialization process will take a few minutes. Click on measurement and then on parameters. The parameters window will open. Set the photometric mode, response, bandwidth, and scanning speed. Be aware, certain response and scanning speeds are not compatible with each other. Set start as the larger wavelength, set end as the smaller wavelength. Data pitch is used to set the data collection interval. Number of cycles is used to set the number of measurements for a sample. If the number of cycles is two or greater, the cycle time input field will appear. Cycle time sets the time between measurements. If the cycle time is shorter than the measurement time, the next measurement starts immediately. Click on the data file tab. Check the auto save box if desired. In file name, input a name for the measurement. Click on Browse to select the folder to save data in. Find the desired folder and click on Save. Click OK to set the setup parameters. Click on Measurement and then click on Auto Zero. Click on Measurement and then click on Baseline. The Baseline window will open. Check the full wavelength and baseline correction boxes. Click on Measure. The process will take a few minutes. Slide open the sample chamber lid. Insert the cuvette so the clear sides are aligned with the beam direction. Be mindful that the beam path is right to left. Place the blank cuvette in the sample holder and close the lid. Click on the start button. When the measurement is complete, spectra analysis will automatically open. If the auto save box was not checked, in spectra analysis, click on file and then on save. Find the appropriate folder, name the file as blank, and click on save. Return to the spectrum measurement window. Slide open the sample chamber lid, replace the blank cuvette with the sample cuvette, and close the lid. Click on the start button. When the measurement is complete, spectra analysis will automatically open. If the auto save box was not checked, in spectra analysis, click on file, and then on save. Find the appropriate folder, name the file, and click on save. In Spectra Analysis, click on Processing and then on Subtraction. Find the appropriate blank file and click on Open. Click on OK. A blank corrected spectrum will appear. Click on File and then click on Save. Find the appropriate folder, name the file, and click on Save. Time Course Measurements First Order Kinetics In Spectra Manager, double click on Time Course Measurements. Wait for the software to open and initialize. If this is the first time the computer is communicating with the instrument, the initialization process will take a few minutes. Click on measurement and then on parameters. The parameters window will open. Set the photometric mode, response, bandwidth, and wavelength. In end time, set the duration of the measurement. Data pitch is used to set the data collection interval. Click on the data file tab. Check the autosave box if desired. In file name, input a name for the measurement. Click on browse to select the folder to save data in. Find the desired folder and click on save. Click OK to set the setup parameters. Click on measurement and then click on auto zero. 
Place a cuvette with one part of the reaction mixture in the cuvette holder as described in the spectrum measurement section. The next two steps will need to happen in quick succession. Add the other part of the reaction mixture to the cuvette, mix and slide close the lid. Immediately press on start. When the measurement is complete, spectra analysis will automatically open. If the auto save box was not checked, in spectra analysis click on file and then on save. Find the appropriate folder, name the file, and click on save. Click on processing, then on common options, and then on kinetics. Input the start time and end time, and then click on apply. Alternatively, click and hold on the small squares in the spectrum to drag the cursors to the desired time. Moving the cursors will automatically update the calculated data. Set the Peltier temperature. In the measurement windows, click on measurement and then click on Peltier temperature. Input the desired temperature, then click on apply and then on okay. The temperature will start to change. Spectra analysis peak find. In spectra analysis, click on processing, then peak processing and then peak find. The peak find window will open. In peak, set how a peak is detected, generally set to top. Noise level to set threshold limit for noise. Click on execute. Peaks above the designated noise level will be marked and a list of peaks will be presented above the spectrum. Click on print to save a copy of the data as a PDF. When finished, click on OK. Saving data as a PDF. Click on file and then click on print. The save as window will open. Find the desired folder, name the PDF file and click on save. Shutting down the computer and instrument. Close the software and spectra manager, then shut down the computer. Flip off the power switch on the right side of the instrument. The red indicator light should turn off. If temperature control was used, flip off the power switch on the bottom right corner of the temperature controller. Indicator light should turn off. Flip off the power switch on the bottom right corner of the power supply. The green indicator light should turn off. If temperature control was used, press the power button on the top left corner of the recirculating bath. The instrument SOP should be located next to the instrument. If assistance is needed, please look in the instrument SOP for the contact information of the scientific instrument specialist.